What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add multiple textures or materials to an Alembic file that you imported from Clear 3D or Marvelous. Once you've imported the Alembic file, you'll notice when you go to materials that there's no materials. So say now you maybe want to make different materials. So I've got, for example, I've got a bandana here and then I've got a hoodie and pants. Maybe you want to separate the materials. This is how you're going to do it. So first thing you want to do is create your first material. I'm just going to call it M1. So this is going to be our base material. So once you have your base, uh, we're going to open up our shader editor. What you want to do is go into edit mode. And from here, you're going to select the section of the garment that you want to use. So to do this, you want to select a surface. Now, for instance, if you just want to select the front piece of this garment, um, you'll just select this area and press Control L, and that will automatically use the data from your UV to select just that section of the garment. Now, if you want to select all of them, what I normally do is I go into my toggle X-ray and I select as much as I possibly can without selecting the other pieces. So for instance, I'm going to go into my select lasso tool and you can see we have the pants over here. So we got to try to avoid that. So I'm just going to go like this, select around the sleeves, select the other sleeve. I'm going to do the front of the hoodie which is the pocket area just make sure you've selected everything and then i'll also do the top i'm going to avoid the bandana so let's just select that and then let's go back to our regular view mode and try to select as much as the front and then the back as we can now when you when you're looking at it you must just think that each piece that's cut out when you're creating the garments in real life those are the pieces that it will select individually so maybe you just want to set a material to the sleeve or the ribbing you can do that um, but for now we're just going to select the whole hoodie so as you can see we've selected as much as we possibly can then we're going to press ctrl l again and we'll select everything i don't normally worry too much about the stitching um, but you can go into that if you have time and select as much as the stitching as possible um, and then press Control L. Uh, you'll notice that it won't select everything. Also, when you are doing your selecting, make sure you're pressing Shift or else it'll do that and you won't have everything selected. Um, so let's just go back, press Shift, select it all, press Control L. Although it's not completely done, I am happy with the results I got here. So let's go into our Materials tab, add a new material, press New, call it m2 and hit assign so we have our two materials now that we have created our two textures so this is going to be our first one you can see our base color and then this is going to be our second color i'm just going to do the coloring just so you know um, and what you will notice is those parts that you haven't selected will be the base color so that that can be an issue but normally when you're working with udim tiles it's not normally an issue um, so from here we're going to do the same to the pants so let's go back into our edit mode toggle x-ray and let's just select the pants so let's select these pockets and then press ctrl l and then those that's going to be the selection of our pants so let's make a new material we're going to call it m3 and press assign now when we go back into cycles mode we have our three materials so once you have made your three materials or however many materials you want you can then start adding your textures check out my vmod tutorial to see how to set up materials and textures using vmod they're a really good service to use and probably have the highest highest quality textures out there at the moment i'd highly suggest it if this video did help you guys out please make sure to drop a like comment and sub and i really do appreciate your support as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace